I think of the lady, his victim, his survivor. Can't even imagine what she's thinking. Concerns after the governor appoints a new department head. James Mountain now leads the state Indian Affairs Department. The former San Ildefonso Pueblo governor has been chosen to head the agency, but reporter Andres Valle found members of a task force close to the department are sounding some alarms. Doug Shelley, the Indian Affairs Department works closely with a task force addressing violence against Native American women, but the people on that task force say they're concerned with previous allegations against James R. Mountain. Are you going to provide a space in the agenda so that we could have a conversation uh, regarding his uh, arrest for rape and how that impacts what we do here on the committee. A committee at odds with the governor's appointment of James R. Mountain. Our governor of the state needs to know that we are not okay with this. Our leaderships are being are in silence right now. The missing murdered indigenous women and relatives task force met to discuss the governor's decision. According to court records, Mountain was arrested in 2007 on rape charges. He was indicted in 2008 on charges of kidnapping and battery. But in 2010, the case was dismissed because of lack of evidence. Wouldn't want to see is that people resign from their positions because of the appointment of this person. We did reach out to see if Secretary Designate Mountain would like to comment about the opposition. The Office of Indian Affairs declined that request. And Mountain's appointment must be confirmed by the state Senate. However, there is no hard deadline for that to happen. As of right now, he's not listed on the calendar. Reporting in studio, I'm Desvai, Action 7 News. We reached out to the governor's office for comment about Mountain's appointment, and they sent us this statement. Secretary Designate Mountain has worked within and across tribal communities for many years, including the last two with this administration. The governor does not intend to withdraw his nomination, and we hope that those who are leveling these concerns would respect the judicial process and acknowledge the results.